folks. Welcome to the campaign. I'm Leslie Cochran, candidate for mayor of Austin. I think I'm the most viable choice for a number of reasons. In America, uh, it seems like our government is getting further and further distance from the people. And we need more, uh, and the politicians are listening more to the corporations and the special interests than they are to the people. But see, it's the people that elect these uh, officials, and that's why we have so few people voting these days, is because they're getting tired of being ignored and they don't vote because nobody's taking care of their interests. Now, there's other reasons why I should be your mayor. You know, the trouble with our government, it is a great government, but one of the problems with our government is we've got a whole lot of politicians, very few statesmen, and we need more statesmen in government. And that's why I'm running. The whole scene about politics seems to be we've got a lot of promises, and very few uh, kept promises. So I'm not going to really make any promises. I'm just going to tell you where I'm coming from and what I'm looking for. I've been in Austin for a number of years now, and I've been paying attention to what the people of Austin have been saying. And it seems like Austin is getting further and further away from where uh, the people of Austin were and where they want to be. So uh, at the request of a, quite a number of the people of Austin, I decided to put my personal uh, desires away and try to do something for the people of Austin because they have supported me so much. Now, there's other reasons why I should be your mayor. Number one, I'm uh, outside of being intelligent, I'm also creative. I know that if you're going to solve problems, you just can't go with the obvious uh, solution. Sometimes you have to get cr creative. By cramming all these businesses and apartments downtown in the central part of town, uh, it has increased the, tra uh, the traffic was bad before. It has gotten a lot worse. Hey, folks, check out all the traffic over here. See all that traffic? We got a lot of traffic on this road. And if you look down here, we got a lot of traffic coming down Lamar, too. We're at 6th and Lamar, and we're looking and we're talking about Smart Road. Well, other people are talking about smart growth. If they're talking about smart growth, the push of smart growth, why are they not, hey, why are they not paying attention to what they're saying? See, they're giving permits for new buildings to come in here, and there's very little room for growth. Because if we get, need to widen our roads, we're going to have a hard time widening the roads and leaving place for, uh, for pedestrians. Mm -hmm. Austin is the capital of this great uh, state of Texas. And we're being overcrowded right now with an influx of people. And we need to do something about this so we can have a little more livable conditions for those who live here. Hey, thank you. How you doing today? Good. Did you know you can vote today? Not a registered voter. Okay, thank you anyway. Well, tell your friends, Leslie Cosgrove, join the vote for us. This Lamar Bridge is, needs to be widened because eventually Lamar will be widened and we're, get, and we're going to need to have a wider bridge to carry uh, the traffic across safely. something people you see this railroad tracks up here these railroad tracks up here is perfect we need to get the um, light rail and put in as soon as possible I'm saying let's use our exi existing rails to get the rail started once we make the money off the once we get the rail up and running 
and we turn it into, and, and we start making money off the thing, then we will worry about run, making extensions that might come into town. We've heard how much it was going to cost to build a rail track across the, uh, the uh, across the lake. What I'm saying is we're going to take smart growth and make it positive growth. We don't need to spend a lot of money if we uh, if we can use the existing rail system we have. Hey, did you know you can vote today? God tells me in my heart to tell you that he loves you. Oh, yeah. And if he wants you, and he wants you as his child. When you go to vote, which you can do at Ninth and Brothers today, you'll see that Lord has put me on the very yeah, top wanna, of the list. I want to read. Yeah, well, he, read has put about, me, he has put me on the very top of the list, so just tell that'll be foremost in people's minds. Thank okay. you. God bless. God bless you. God bless y'all. Praise the Lord. This here is a part of our history, the city of Austin Power Plant. We need, to, we need to preserve this. I think it would be a great place to put a museum. I think that uh, we can use it for a multi-purpose uh, museum. We can use the power plant itself as a part of the museum, and we can use the museum to show other uh, artifacts too that are part of Austin. And uh, I'd rather have it used as a museum than, ha than sell it to some other corporation that will tear it down and put another thing there. We want to preserve what is Austin. Let's face it, let's make this place livable for the citizens. Let's get back to the uh, Austin that it used to be. By putting all these buildings downtown, we've cut out a lot of our green, uh, our green foliage. And the green foliage must be replaced. We gotta get, the city must, on a, not only the private sector must plant, but the city government must plant greenery. Protecting our resources, the only way we can do it is controlling our own frogs, salamanders, or disappearing at a very rapid rate. We need to protect these resources because if we don't, uh, extinction is, is just something that goes on not with just one species, but with many species. They are part of the ecological chain, and they're a part that need to be, uh, need to be protected. Vote for Leslie Cochran, and maybe we can get some programs going to help save Barton Springs. And, um, protect the resources we have now. Okay. Oh, this is just, it's, uh, why do I dress like this? A lot of people think freedom is having their personal freedom. When they see somebody else do something that's uh, different, they, want, they are offended by it and they try to limit their freedoms. So by dressing this way, it gives it, and by being the person I am, it gives people, it tries to open up people's minds to a difference. It's not how you dress, it puts in your heart. And the longer they see me and the, the more they talk to me, they realize, well, just because I dress differently, that freedom should be given to all people, not just to a few people because we're common to those people. Okay, okay well, I'm going to go. Well, would Thanks. you get mad if I asked you if you're gay? Okay? Oh, no, I'm a guy all the way. But the uh, thing is, as far as my personal life, I sort of like keeping that personal. And, if I was, it's not my point, it's not proper for me to, to speak with people your age, uh, something of that nature, because your parents are the people you need to talk to them about, not me. Okay? Thank you. Leslie has always done good by me, and I can not say anything bad about Leslie. All I can say is completely good. Leslie is here for basically everybody. He's not here just for the businessman or um, the power players. He's also for the people. He's here for the homeless because, in retrospect, Leslie is homeless. But I think this is a bold move. This is a very bold move by a homeless person to actually consider running for the position of mayor of the city of Austin. And it, it shows a lot of gumption. It shows a lot of guts. Um, like I said, I can never say anything bad about Leslie because everything Leslie has done for me has always helped me. Pretty much all that I can say about it. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Now, the thing is, I find it sort of interesting that uh, you know, people in Austin are very uh, uh, Christian, very uh, upright people, but sometimes they forget that uh, homeless people, uh, there's a lot of people that represent the homeless people. When you go to vote, you'll find my name, the very first name on the ballot, top of the list. And I want, I would, I would really appreciate it if you could find it in your heart to vote for me for your next mayor. And I very much invite everybody in the city of Austin to come here and talk with me because I want to know the people, not just what your issues, but where your heart's at. Oops.
plastic all over you. There you go. I intend to be very visible, very uh, vibrant part of this community. Thank you very much for inviting me. Thanks for asking me to run. And here I am. I'm here for you.